high profile hire to help police in New Orleans, the NOPD and the mayor. They've hired this man, Fausto Picardo, as the department's chief operations officer. His job, reduce crime and revamp a force that has fewer than a thousand officers. That's an almost 50 year low. So who is Picardo? Here's a closer look. Born and raised in the Lower East Side of New York City, Fausto Pachardo rose rapidly through the ranks of the NYPD over a 20-year career. The first Dominican-American to reach the lofty position of head of the NYPD's Uniform Patrol Division, which has more than 22,000 officers. WNBC-TV in New York caught up with Pachardo after that promotion. I'm like a, a, a kid whose Christmas wish came early. But back in 2016, when he ran a district in the Bronx, Pachardo was grilled about a rise in robberies. Robberies, though, you have the highest volume in the city. We took six robberies in Sector Ready. Noticing that spike, we immediately deployed a dedicated, uniformed robbery order on each single platoon. Pachardo left the NYPD back in 2020 amid the COVID pandemic after allegedly being unhappy with then-Mayor Bill de Blasio's micromanaging of his division. Pachardo will assume the role of Chief of Operations with the NOPD. Superintendent Sean Ferguson laying out Pachardo's duties in an email to all officers late Wednesday afternoon, saying in part that Pachardo will help in three key areas, improve officer safety, as well as improve the crime reduction capabilities and improve response times. Fausto Pachardo is one of the most dedicated cops I've ever met in my life. Terry Monahan is a recently retired chief of police in New York City. He will be out there with his men and women uh, making sure things get done. He is someone that most cops will love to follow. The local fraternal order of police hopes so. Hopefully uh, bringing this person in as a consultant will give us that extra edge. And Mayor Latoya Cantrell says she is grateful. Pachardo answered calls to serve the city of New Orleans. She also says the steps taken today reaffirm the city's commitment to officer safety. Well